In this video, we're going to show you how to create a free newsletter using a variety of services online. Uh, if you simply Google free email newsletter services or some variant thereof, you will find many options, some of which you've heard of, such as MailChimp. Uh, one that we like is actually called Benchmark. So for the sake of example today, let's go to Benchmark. And this is important to do. Um, as an agent, you want to build your network over time. You're going to get email uh, inquiries and you're going to have conversations with agents and direct buyers uh, throughout the city and the world. So uh, as a salesperson, uh, one of the mo most important assets you have is your personal network. So you want to collect email addresses, both agents and direct buyers, and add them to whichever newsletter service that uh, you're using. Uh, a lot of them offer free plans, free tiers for certain numbers of um, you know, contacts. Uh, most of the free plans will be sufficient for your typical agent. And you just want to make sure that whichever service you use will let you download your contacts and take them with you at any time so you're not held hostage. So let's do an example. We're just going to go through the sign-up process for one of our agents. So you've created a new account. You'll need to um, hit verify for the verification email to activate your account. And then let's go ahead and create our first newsletter. You'll first want to import contacts you have, or uh, you can import a list, or you can manually add them as you see them. So there are a variety of options. Um, you, If you actually happen to have a CSV or Excel file with uh, a list of emails, perhaps from a previous job or some, some format, you can upload it in bulk. Alternatively, you can add them one at a time. Hit next. And here we recommend creating a custom list if you, especially if you intend to um, separate direct buyers and agents. So for example, instead of just having a blanket uh, one list, we'll create one for everyone and then we'll create one for agents only. Perhaps you want to you know, promote a broker open house or something, a special broker incentive. I uh, will create one for uh, direct buyers only, and then we'll create one for everyone. So ideally, you should have three lists. Um, if you really want to keep it simple, you can also just have one list with both agents and direct buyers. It's up to you. So let's go back, hit X, contacts, contacts. Next, hit next. So this is what we're talking about. We'll create one for now that's just agents only. And then let's just start adding people. You can add agents from our own team. Remember to just put in the first name. This is sometimes helpful because you can actually customize newsletters where it says each person's first name uh, if you wish. So it's important to fill out this field. Add contacts, simple as that. You can add agents that you find in your your email inbox from other brokerages. Remember to add the first name. So that's that's really it. And again, you can create multiple lists. You can create one for direct buyers only, and you can create one for all contacts or general contact list. So let's go back. You'll see that all agents has been created. There's two contacts.
So emails here, this is a general newsletter. Uh, what this is, uh, quite nice, uh, you are able to use the automation light as a free account. Uh, this is a drip email marketing campaign. So that's a topic of another video, but it's quite useful if you want to send um, a series of email marketing emails to a new contact, perhaps a new direct buyer that goes out on day one, day three, then day nine, different emails in a series. Uh, it's very useful actually. But today we're going to focus on just a general email. This is a, your classic newsletter. Next. This is very useful. So this is the listing we'll send a newsletter out for. Uh, you can send out a newsletter when a listing is first posted on the market just to give some extra exposure to, to folks that um, so they know that a new listing is out. Though that is less useful in our opinion because uh, whenever a new listing does get blasted out, uh, folks will get automatic search alerts anyway. Uh, people will notice anyway. So this is more useful in our opinion in sending out a newsletter once the listing is a bit more aged and uh, you want to get the word out perhaps about a price decrease, um, perhaps about a special incentive or perhaps to give people one last chance to take a look because you have some other offers and just to rouse up some interest. So we're going to do the latter. This is a bit more aged and we want to get the word out that hey we do have other offers which we do um, but uh, you know, want to give people a chance to participate if they saw it before, and many people have seen it before, uh, and whether they want to uh, take a crack at it before it's gone. Think of a catchy title. This we leave completely up to you. Or rather, this should be in the subject line. The name of this email, you can just say, uh, whatever helps you remember what this is about. This is internal, so uh, this is optional. This gives people a preview of uh, the text. Uh, you can customize what the preview is, so when people look at a message, they see the subject line, and then usually the first couple of sentences, this is what this is. This cuts off at 80 characters, this is fine. This is quite optional. You can if you have a Twitter account, so connect. Connect your Twitter account if you have one. This is optional, uh, but why not? Just add some keywords that make sense. Why not? These are different uh, layouts. We prefer the simpler one just because it looks better in mobile, uh, less chance of uh, you know complications or things overlapping one to another. So it's better to keep it simple. These are various blocks you can drag and drop to the right. I would just right click and save some of these images. So I would pick two or three of the best photos. I would save the floor plan and then perhaps if you have a video as well, I would save the video because you can add that to the newsletter. Click a link to video to find it in your desktop and then select it. Or in this case, just insert it via URL so you can simply search on, for example, YouTube, uh, search for YouTube Mon Sky, for example, if you're an agent at our team, or search for the address.
you the link. Voila. Now you can drag, drag and drop a photo there. Easy. You could even have another series of uh, videos as well. So for example, um, what you do here is if you want two columns, you can even do it here. So. So again, just drag and drop, and then per perhaps we create a another one with the opposite layout, or this is fine as well. Again, drag and drop or hit insert to find it on your computer, and this is the now we have a basic layout for this newsletter. Very simple. We've put in you know several of the best photos, some places for text, a link for the video, and then just. Just write uh, a few pieces of compelling text. Remember, we want to catch people's attention. Uh, we want to give uh, short, concise information about the listing and any pertinent information that might not be visible online, such as details on the offer process, whether we're close, uh, things like that. You can always delete things if they're out of the way, for example. So as you see, we have filled this out. Some of this is directly from the listing description, which you can reuse, such as these parts, and these parts are directly from the listing description. Obviously, feel free to reuse the, uh, the copywriting that you've already taken the time to create. Uh, we've added some new custom language. Again, this is you know depending on the situation. Uh, here, we're just reminding the market that we have a great three-bedroom. It's priced to sell, likely the best deal in town. And we've given a, a little bit of inside information as well that um, you know we've received multiple offers, but due to delays and contract negotiations, we've opened up this rare opportunity back to the market. Now, remember. This is going out to everyone, so you got to be, you know, cognizant that this may go to, for example, other the current bidder. Um, so you got to be very diplomatic in how you phrase it without sounding weak. We want to appear strong. We have received multiple offers, which is true, um, but you know, you don't want to ever uh, give a sense of or appearance of weakness. This is a great opportunity, so please jump on it. Um, and in terms of square footage, we always are hesitant to list it, especially for co-ops. Um, in this case, the seller has given us a number. And we have listed it, but uh, at the same time, you know, as with all numbers, this is uh, up for the buyer to ascertain themselves, which is why we have a disclaimer. For example, this is the standard disclaimer, and you should use it. Oops. This is obviously, again, these are only estimates uh, in New York. The principle of uh, caveat emptor or buyer beware uh, exists. Properties are sold as is. So we can only give estimates. Uh, this is up to the seller. But, you know, normally you don't even have to put the square footage for co-ops. Uh, for condos, it is more verifiable. Um, so it's up to you. So this is what it looks like for this button. We can edit it a bit as well. If you even choose to have a button, of course. And then here you can put the link to, you know, what, where the listing is on our website, for example, or even on a public other search website, or even uh, if you wanted to just uh, be a button that, that emails you. So, you know, you could put a URL here. Uh, in this case, let's just say, contact us. And of course, the person can also just reply to the newsletter and email you as well, but you know, perhaps somebody likes this. So this is what you do. You could put www. 
say, you know, montskyrealestate.com slash or, you know, streeteasy.com slash or whatever, newyorktimes.com slash the listing uh, here. This is the format you want to use no to colon and then immediately after your email address for it to just uh, open up essentially a, um, uh, a way to email you. So here it's centered. And so this is starting to look pretty good. For the social media, of course, you can. Uh, what I like to do is this, uh, make sure like this by itself, I don't think it's too helpful. What, what I like to do is actually um, have, have share buttons. So if you go back, social share. These, I think, are generally much more useful. This stuff, honestly, you can probably just delete. Right, if you back out, then you're able to just delete this whole block. This section, let's take a look. This is the bottom. Newsletters should have a physical address. Don't use this report abuse link. People abuse that link, actually. Competitors will abuse it, so don't, don't include that. Can use this other stuff. Add this. I like this logo better. And that's really it. So if you take a look, it all looks pretty good. You can even hit preview. You can also even test, send a test email to yourself. But this is good to go. So let's hit save and next. You can schedule a delivery, send immediately, or you can schedule it for some other time. And then just hit send. Very simple. There's the URL, back to emails. So that's all it is, and we hope you will take advantage of what you've learned here, uh, create and attend to your email list. They are very valuable. Uh, it helps you keep in touch with people uh, throughout your life, and especially if you're in any sort of sales-related career, super important to be able to keep in touch with folks. Even if, for example, you, know, you have a life change or you have a new listing, whatever it might be, um, you know, and, and former clients, I mean, they like to hear from you and it's a good way to, to remind people of who you are, especially former clients. That, I mean, they it's a good way to keep in touch and perhaps when they want to buy or sell, they'll remember you that they've worked with you before. So uh, this is a great way to do it and obviously very useful if you have a listing uh, to, uh, you know, send a, a manual outreach to all agents in, the, um, in your network. So please uh, utilize this and... We hope this was helpful. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like it and leave a comment. If you leave any comments, we'll get back to you right away on any questions you might have. And of course, if you are a new agent in New York, we would love to have you on the team. Our firm has commission splits that currently start at 75% to agents, including new agents for their independently sourced and executed deals. And we don't have any hidden fees. There's no transaction fees. Uh, we don't have any desk fees, franchise fees, or anything else that might pop up that will actually lower the split. Um, all we have is a all-inclusive monthly dues that takes care of everything. Um, 
that you might need to do the job, such as for errors and emissions insurance, all the various software, private corporate email, uh, professional photo, all, this, all the tools you need, the mobile tools you need, uh, business card design and whatnot. So it's all included. It's $129 a month currently for the 75% split plan. And we believe that is the best deal in town, especially since our firm offers uh, the opportunity to work on corporate or company sourced sales and uh, you know, buyer and seller transactions. So if you're interested, please drop us a line. We would love to hear from you. Thank you so much.